Well, here we are. I'm going to call that good enough. Maybe it'll get purdied up a little bit better once I uh, maybe get another uh, flap disc that uh, and some, uh, you know, some body filler on maybe some of those extra divots instead of filling them in with a weld. You know, it's not going to be probably. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what the big fella's going to do? But so far, so good. Got that leaf revealed back off of that. About the same distance there. And uh, getting some, some flex out of this. So that's my next dilemma, is to try to figure out what I need to do. I need to, uh, I need to continue on here and add a piece of metal here that I'm going to be able to pinch underneath this, which is going to run down to this area here. You know, I cut the bottom of this door frame off, or door skin, because of the rot. In this area here, I've got a surface that I can weld. So, the issue was, is I didn't, as you can, this has got a, a belly in it, and I wanted to try to keep as much of that as I could instead of maybe, right, cutting it straight across. Well, I want to try to keep as much as this skin as I can because it's got that factory belly in it, which I don't want to have to try to emulate with the, no tools. Yeah, I don't have any, you know, benders or any of that English wheel or any of that stuff. I don't even have access. I don't think, I don't, can't think of anybody right now that I know that has any of that stuff, so. Okay, and this one here, Well, there's a little bit of cleanup. First start of readjustment.
little hammer and dolly action there. And then, I'd, like I said, I'd like to recreate this start of this to where this actually blends and fades away. See how far I can get it to fade. As far as this area here, it's pretty, pretty dang close. And as you can see, that, that belly that the top of this thing creates. And that A-pillar section is, is pretty close for now. I mean, it's not perfect, but you can still see that nice little transition there, how that door skin has that belly in it. Right on. Okay, that is an eighth of an inch. But, like you can is you can always weld on the edge and grind that down but an eighth of an inch is good so what I need to do is just continue down through here and create an eighth of an inch there this is an eighth of an inch so right on this side down here, you know, as you can see, it's like a, uh, gosh, it's just a little over a sixteenth. So that can get, that can get adjusted. But as you can see, I'm, I'm flapping in the wind here. So I really need to get that piece of sheet metal welded onto that B pillar and then sandwich it underneath this edge here. And then I can do some more detail work here on this jam. Just a little forming it. I don't have any hammer and dolly, but you know, just just I was able to get this section here with just uh, my regular carpenter's hammer and a couple of other little, you know, like this sleeve right here. I was able to stick that in this portion, and then once I had that formed. I just took this chisel and was able to press this little section out because it's, it, you know, it's got this void here where the hinge used to go through. And then this area here, I just was able to, you know, knock it down a little bit. But yeah, if I can get me a hammer and dolly set. Maybe I can improve on that some. I'd like to try to drift this here at least out to this area right here and create, you know, maybe maybe something to that size in here. And then the same and then and just kind of leave it at that just so it has something to reference to, you know, as far as fitting you know, across this stuff. Getting there. Nice thing is, is I can pile that mud on thick, Jack. <laughs> and who's gonna know? Because I'm not gonna video that. All right, right on. It's getting there. So now what I'd like to do is maybe, you know, down here, I've got an eighth of an inch what I'd like to do is go ahead and 
trim this up where I've got an eighth of an inch all the way up here. And it looks like I'm going to be able to take this A-pillar side of the door and get about a half inch. You know, it looks like, uh, you know what, about a half inch here. I'm off of there. So it looks like I can, I might be able to utilize this little pinched area here to go underneath and still be able to maintain about a half inch in there.